Hello, uh, this question is about filtration. The question is, in beer production, filtration is used after the fermentation stage to separate the yeast from the liquid in order to recover the liquid. The filtered beer obtained at 15 centigrade should have an average density and viscosity of approximately 1000 kg per cubic meter and 1.17 times 10 to the minus 3 pascal second respectively. A preliminary test has been carried out in laboratory filtration equipment in a brewery. The laboratory filter with an area of 0.1 square meter has been operated at a constant pressure drop of 400 kPa and produced the following results. And we have the table. That's the volume of the filtrate collected after uh, 300 and 1800 seconds equal to 19 and 63 liters respectively. The company is interested in installing a new filter in their facilities to substitute the current filter. They would like to know what will be the size of the filter required to obtain 4 cubic meters of filtered beer in 6 minutes in a batch process. Determine the filter area required to operate under the same pressure drop of 400 kPa, as in the laboratory test, if the cake is considered to be incompressible. Assume the cake and the filter medium resistances are constant and equal to the ones in the laboratory test. Okay? So, to solve this question, first you need to uh, obtain the relationship between the uh, T divided by V versus V, or in other words, the filtration relationship. So, for the constant pressure filtration, we have T divided by V equal to mu alpha CSV divided by 2 a square delta p plus mu over a delta p times rm okay and so from this table from the data given here from the data given here so you need to first draw a table so that is the That's the volume, okay, volume collected. If you want to write it in the unit of cubic meter, that will be basically uh, 0 0.019 cubic meter was collected after uh, 300 second, okay, that is time in second, and then it was uh, after 1800 seconds you could collect 0 0.063 so now from these two data you can calculate the parameter t divided by v t divided by v with the unit of second per cubic meter okay and that so basically you divide this by this time by v that will give you 1500 uh, 789 and then if you divide 1800 by this you get 28571 okay so now you have two data point that is uh, v equal to 2.019 t divided by v equal to 15789 that is 0.1 and the other point is v equal to uh, point zero sixty three and t divided by v is equal to twenty eight five seven one. So using these two points, you can obtain the equation, uh, the linear equation connecting these two points. And if you do that, you will get the equation t divided by v equal to twenty nine zero five hundred v plus hundred two sixty nine point five. Okay, that is simply the equation, the linear equation uh, connecting these two points. Okay, so if you compare this equation, that is the filtration equation, with this equation, which is as well the general filtration equation, then you can calculate, you can, you can obtain that this coefficient here is equal to that is mu over times alpha CS over 2A2 delta P is equal to 29,500, okay? Also, you can conclude that, uh, you can conclude that this, uh, this term will be equal to uh, this value, that is mu 
divided by a delta p times rm is equal to uh, 10 to 69.5 okay basically all i'm doing is comparing this equation with this equation so the coefficient of the v should be uh, the same and this uh, expression should be equal to the uh, constant that you calculated here okay so from these two expression here now you can calculate because now you have uh, mu alpha cs over 2 a2 delta p equal to 290 500 therefore you can conclude that mu alpha cs is equal to uh, this number that is 290 500 times 2 okay times delta p that is uh, 400 kilopascal given in the question times a square and in the question uh, in the laboratory test the area the area of the filter was 0.1 square meter therefore 2a2 will be uh, 0.02 and this one will be equal to 2.324 times 10 to the power of 9 from the second term you can basically you had mu rm over a delta p equal to 102.69.5 therefore you can conclude that mu rm is equal to this term times this term that is 10 to 69.5 time uh, a point one times delta p which is 400,000 which will be equal to 4.11 times 10 to the power of 8 so now you have the value of this term you have the value of uh, that term so therefore if you now consider the uh, the filtration equation the general filtration equation uh, because it was t divided by v equal to mu alpha csv divided by 2 a2 delta p plus mu a delta p times rm right so here now in a set of mu rm i can plug this value and instead of mu alpha cs i can plug this value okay i can plug this value if i do that if i do that what I get is equal to T divided by V will be equal to 2.324 times 10 to the power of 9. That is basically mu alpha CS times V divided by 2A2 uh, delta P plus uh, 4.11 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by uh, A delta P okay and and so in the question it says that the company wants to obtain four cubic meter that is v in six minutes that is six minutes times 60 seconds that is 360 so if you plug this to value here that will be equal to instead of t i put 360 instead of v i put four okay will be equal to 2.324 times 10 to the my power of 9 times v is equal to 4 divided by 2 a2 a is question that's the question basically the area of the filter times delta p uh, is 400,000 plus 4.11 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by a that is the question unknown times uh, delta p that is 400,000 okay and this equation is basically you have one equation and one unknown so you can simply calculate a if you rearrange this equation and simplify this equation you will end up uh, 72 times 10 to the power of 6 a2 minus 8.22 times 10 to the power of 8 a minus 9.3 times 10 to the power of 9 equal to 0 and if you solve this equation, you will get A equal to 18.42 square meter. And that's the solution to this uh, question.